this is part two in our segment for our Cripple Creek visit. For tonight, we're staying at St. Nicholas Hotel located here in Cripple Creek, Colorado. Hotel St. Nicholas, named for the Gold Rust Air Hospital that once occupied the same building, offers a blend of fascinating history and gracious accommodations in a charming Cripple Creek bed and breakfast inn. The building, which was built over 122 years ago, served as a hospital for gold prospectors and miners that flooded to the Cripple Creek area during the gold rush. Quietly located two blocks from Cripple Creek Casino and historic attractions, guests may enjoy relaxing in the indoor dry sauna or retreating to one of the 15 elegant rooms. All 15 guest rooms here at St. Nicholas are neatly appointed to kind of capture that feeling of the turn of the century of Cripple Creek. In the afternoon, enjoy the clean mountain air on top of the patio or visit the Boiler Room Tavern in the evening for a drink. So St. Nicholas Hotel operated as a hospital all the way from the gold era up until the mid 70s. Now it closed down for 20 years and reopened in 1990 as a bed and breakfast. Now on to what probably most people came to this video for, the paranormal activity at St. Nicholas Hotel. I know when we were checking in, I talked with the caretaker and he explained on a couple of different accounts that he has had encounters with paranormal activity, things moving, hearing certain noises, seeing apparitions in the hotel at night. Now this is what the history says about the hotel. The hotel is haunted by a number of spirits including nuns, children, and former patients of the mental ward. The most often seen ghostly resident is one referred to as Stinky, lurking in the back staircase of the old hospital. Stinky makes his presence known with a sewage-like smell. <sighs> okay, my camera just shut down by itself. I had to cut it back on. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna give you a quick room tour of our room. This is room number one. This is a two room king suite. Go over to the left, you have this little area with some soap and extra towels, some decor. Uh, where do you think that goes to? Come over here to the bathroom. You have your sink, your toilet. You have your classic tub with the claw footing. Some more body wash here in the tub. Extra towels, a little stand for some towels. And you have your mirror come out into this day room area. You have your chair over there, your day bed, a TV with another antique stand. Come over here, you have a closet, store your luggage, you have a luggage rack, extra bedding, some hangers. This wallpaper is really cool. Okay, you come into this area. I know I called it a kitchenette, but you have your microwave, your fridge, more storage, Keurig, coffee cups, another dresser, and a little chair. Then you come into the bedroom and you're greeted with your king size bed, little nightstand with the mirror, got reading lamps on both sides of the bed, ceiling fan, TV, stand, and you have another chair and ottoman over here. So there you have it, a quick room tour. So we are going to do another walkthrough of this hotel at night, probably after midnight, just to see what it looks like during hours of darkness. And we are going to take you along with us for that. What chair? This chair. It wasn't like that when we came here? No. Because I set them all the same. Well, I want to play that back on video. Hopefully I got some footage of that. Hello? Someone here? Okay. Turn this down. Thank you.
someone here with us? That's the longest that it's been flashing. If you're here, can you touch Willie? No.